Hello everyone. Quoting Heaven here. It's been a while, I know. I know, it's been a while. I mean, since I'm already socially distant from everyone right now and isolating myself in my home, as suggested by most doctors and authorities in my country, I don't have school either. It's been closed for at least two weeks. I have time to make another educational video, which is perfect. So, let me show you an animation that I set up. Okay. And uh, let me give you the... Let me, let me explain this animation. Before I explain it, I just want to let you know that this is coded in Java. As all my other uh, all my other tutorials are and it will be posted on github after the video let's get started so let me start the animation again here press space okay what you see here in front of you is an animation that is an animation or a simulation that simulates the spread of a virus in a city this entire box is a city the jframe or the canvas represents a city and this is in the darkness of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic that we hear so much about so uh, as you can see in the beginning the green one the green dots are the healthy people the red dots are the infected people and the blue dots that you will see soon are the people that were infected but healed as you can see there's a blue dot a few blue dots or a few um, what well, dots circle same thing a few blue circles that um, appear Every time you collide, every time a healthy person collides with a infected person, there's a ninety there's a ninety percent chance of the virus spreading. This is independent of anyone else. This is per person. And I thought it would be useful to code such a such a project to illustrate the 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 efficacy of health guidelines given by authorities and doctors, such like social distancing and self isolation, which is the good old quarantine that we we see in all these memes. I wanted specifically to show why so social distancing and, and self-isolation or quarantine are useful and why they work using Java. To start, let's see what happens when everyone does whatever the hell they want. People move freely, unaware of the danger they're putting themselves and the people around them in. Completely unaware. As you can see, when I'll start the animation, let's start it. This virus spreads, it spreads like wildfire. It spreads very, very, very quickly. Okay? Every single person gets infected. Every single person gets infected very, very, very quickly. And, of course, this being a virtual scenario and not a real world, a real world representation, everyone recovers in the, uh, in the simulation. Everyone recovers. Everyone turns blue. But we know with coronavirus, not everyone gets the chance to recover. Especially for the elderly with compromised, as in weak, immune systems, COVID-19 could be fatal. Same for everyone with uh, health conditions related to lung and respiratory system problems. COVID-19 can be fatal. So, and we also, in addition to that, the virus spreads very, very quickly. Space in hospitals runs out, ve runs out as quick. There is no more space in the hospitals for the people that need assist, assisting bre assisted breathing and other types of medical attention. As you can see what's going on in Italy right now, which is crazy, and uh, our prayers are for them. So as you can see, the relationship is clear. It's very, very clear. Let's restart the animation. The relationship is very, very, very clear. The faster the spread of coronavirus, the more people die. And how, we, how do we avoid this? We want to do something called flattening the curve and I'll show you a picture right now on screen how to flatten the curve okay and what does that mean flatten the curve well this is why I have this animation I'll show you what flatten the curve means instead of explaining it to you and other than practices like practicing of like keeping good hygiene washing your hands often there are two points that we hear all the time we need to practice social distancing and self-isolation the way I'll demonstrate social distancing specifically is by running the animation in different sizes of cities. Uh, basically different, like the canvas or the J-frame, or the canvas inside the J-frame will be just different, a different size. 
and this would be an approximation of how the spread of the virus looks like with variable social distancing. So a lot of social distancing, a little bit of social distancing, and average social distancing. So for here right now, I'm going to show you when there's when the city is very small and there's barely any social distancing. Let's restart the animation. Look at that. The virus spreads in no time and more people risk dying. The virus spreads like crazy, okay? And it's as, it's as simple as that. Now we can see that bad social distancing causes the virus to spread really, really quickly. And as we spoke of before, the quicker the virus spreads, the more people die. Now let's see, for example, average social distancing. So the more social distance, the more chances people have, the more chance people, like the more, the more time people have to heal, people that are infected specifically, the more time they have to heal before the virus spreads to others due to much less contact with people, of course. And you can see by the end, of, by when this animation comes to an end, some people will remain unaffected by the virus. We'll run the animation again. Some people, or a lot of people, will, will remain unaffected by this virus. That's because there's more social distancing, less people are, less people are in contact with others and they remain unaffected. This is promising. But the thing is, this is not enough. More social distancing, we want the virus to spread even less, we want even less death. So, let's go full screen this is full screen so as you can see here after a, a few runs by myself I did on the background before I started the video I observed that a lot of the time a lot of the time there's the, the, the infected person heals without touching anyone and the virus is stopped right away this didn't happen in this case because this is a randomized algorithm so in some cases, that infected person that you see here does not go through any collisions and they don't infect anyone and they heal before infecting anyone. So the virus doesn't spread. And even if this doesn't happen, the rate of spread of the virus is, is, is way, 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 way less than if the, if the city was smaller. So the hospitals have space for the sick people and aren't overwhelmed by everyone coming one shot like what's going on in Italy right now. And given this, let's move on to the second point, which is quarantine or self-isolation. And by the end of the virtual pandemic, people are spared, of course. Less lives are lost. The relationship is shown. S stay away from people, please. So... This is um, <clears throat> this is quarantine. So these walls here represent basically a quarantine. Of course, these people aren't alone. A quarantine would be would be more efficient if every single person was quarantined. But this, of course, as, as we know, is it's 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 not realistic. People are going to be going to work. People are going to be walking outside. You're going to be at home with your family. Is is not it's not realistic. People are going to be working in the hospitals. They're going to be people working in restaurants, I'm guessing. Everyone won't be self-isolated perfectly. There will be groups of people here and there. So this is this simulation is trying is, is trying to show with groups of people instead of inside uh, instead of isolating every single person. So here you can see that in only this block people healed from the virus because I started the animation from since I started talking. So, let's check that out. The gist, the gist in general, let me, let me just summarize. The gist is that these walls mean it's basically isolating people from others. And uh, this allows the virus to spread and infect only the few people that are in that isolation instead of the entire population. Let's restart this animation, show you exactly what I mean. So, you see infected guys right here. That infected person. In this little block here, everyone gets sick because of that infected person. But the quarantine here prevents everyone else in the entire city from getting infected. This is promising, no? This is uh, for getting infected from the virus. This is, this is very promising. By the end of the animation, no one except these few people get infected by the virus. And they are healed. 
or dead. But still, in this case, there are still less deaths than if there were no quarantine. Less deaths in total. That, that's for sure. So, these all these people are spared. The virus is gone. Everyone is healed. This is the problem. You want this. You want this. This is for sure. Every, everyone wants this. Now, let me show you with a bit of social distancing. How about we mix both together? Now, let's restart the animation. You see here, it's he's in a tiny little block. So, uh, he's in a tiny little block, so you don't you don't see much like everyone gets infected but let's see anywhere else okay here the infected person was in a big chunk so he might not infect everyone might infect everyone but the gist of self-isolation is to isolate yourself from other people or isolate a group of people that are infected from everyone else to kill the virus quicker and uh, and keep yourself protected from everyone uh that's it everyone man stay safe if you want the code this will it will be posted on github soon and it will also be posted on my website uh like an article about this uh about this this simulation will be one it will be posted on my website soon after this video is uh is posted on youtube like and subscribe for more videos from me i know this isn't the type of tutorial that i usually make at least it's the same theme, Java, programming, simulations. I did this because I felt like it was my duty to post something like this. Thank you so much for watching and Coding Heaven out.